guys, it is uh, Sunday afternoon and we are gonna go out in a little bit and go meet the kids for something different. <laughs> I don't know. You know, we're just gonna try things. One of the kids, Brian, the adopted son, has always wanted to go to, um, he's very food oriented. And he's always wanted to stop at a particular truck stop on I-5 in Aurora, Oregon that has both Subway sandwiches and Cinnabon. I don't know why. So guess what we're doing today? <laughs> Driving down to Aurora to go to Subway sandwich and Cinnabon. I don't know. Anyway, uh, I've been upstairs in the art room doing some cleaning. I need to put some clothes in the dryer, I think. Did a little bit of rearranging so that my crochet patterns I'm not actively using are here and easy to reference to pull out what I need. They're not clogging up and weighing down my bag. I did reorganize the bag a little bit, dug out some, I have this thing for jingly charms on most of my bags. And so, yeah. And, uh, moved some stuff that didn't need to be in here into the other room. There's a few more things over here that don't really need to be over here or that could go somewhere else. I don't know if I'm going to deal with them right now, but yeah, I did also sweep the floor because I kind of made a mess yesterday. So yeah, we've also been updating our Christmas shopping list because the kids um, were doing name exchanges. Uh... Secret Santa, that's it. <laughs> so we don't have to buy gifts for everybody, you just have to buy gifts for your name. And so um, that means that we all have to put gift lists together, which Bob and I are doing uh, today before we go have Subway and Cinnabon. I don't know if we're gonna go anywhere else. I don't know if I can talk Mr. into going to anywhere else. We'll see. We're gonna take the truck though, so that it ought to be a fun ride. I don't think it's too far away, so I don't think there's any need to bring my bag, unfortunately, but yeah. Quiet Sunday, but there's nothing wrong with that. I'll be back. How does that look? <laughs> um, I am gonna try to talk, talk Mr. into stopping by at Walmart on the way home. I not only want to check out some different Walmarts and see what their yarn and craft selection is like, ours seems to be lacking all the time and they may all like be that way right now, um, but I don't know. And um, more importantly, I'd like to add a pumpkin to my collection. So there's that. I have a collection of outdoor pumpkins. We did break one last year and I do love pumpkins. And so, yeah, we'll see. I'll be back. Hey guys, it is Monday, October 23rd, 4.30 p.m. I know, right? I have been up here in the corner all day today, other than doing a couple of quick chores, working on Mr. Bob's sweater and um, altering the pattern to fit him. I really wanted the sweater to fit well, so I've only gotten one sleeve done, but I only have one more to go. I was hoping to get the sweater done today, but I didn't really think I would because I knew the first sleeve would kind of be a challenge. Um, for he has long arms and then the way they wanted me to do the cuff um, was just not tight enough on his wrist so I took had to frog that a couple of times anyway I got it to fit him finally yay I need to make a couple of notes and um, take a break do, do a couple other things I got a huge list of stuff I've got to get done this week uh, art and YouTube stuff. So, you know, besides I want to get this done for him. So yeah. All right. I'm going to make some notes, set this aside for the moment. Um, and, um, get my bag ready. I think if I do any more crocheting tonight, I think it'll probably be the granny square Afghan. Um, maybe, I don't know. I might keep working. I don't know. Um, but I'm going to turn the computer on and try to get a couple quick things done there before Mr. gets off of work. Um, and yeah. 
Anyway, it's just, it's been a quiet day and I've been able to crochet all day and I love it. And I forgot one of the reasons I prefer crochet over knitting. Yes, I can do both. Um, knitting, I have to think more about and knitting makes my hands hurt. Crochet, I've literally been here in the chair all day. I haven't probably taken as many breaks as I need to and my hands feel fine. So, yeah. I do have compression gloves in case I need them, so. And I will, now that I'm done, I will do some, you know, finger exercises, so. All right, that's it for the minute. I'll be back. Okay. I got two of the scheduled posts for November done after I finished the one sleeve on the sweater. I got my November daily drawing and journaling journal done. It's all ready to go. It's all prepped, it's just drying. I have to film the Artie Trio video and edit it and then edit the vlog tomorrow. Also having <clears throat> some work done on a leaky window that's under warranty tomorrow. So will I actually get the filming for the RC Trio video film tomorrow? I don't know. I'm not babysitting, so we'll see. And the old uh, RC Trio video uh, journal, She's done, she's empty. I can't put any more in here. I just realized I did the last page last month, so gotta get a new one out. <laughs> anyway, we'll see how tomorrow goes. It's time for dinner, and I think we have to move some furniture out of the way for tomorrow morning when the window people come to fix the window. All right, hey, I'll be back. Everybody. It is Tuesday, October 24th. Uh, pretty sure, yes, at 9.46 a.m.-ish. Uh, the gentleman is here from the window manufacturer to uh, clean and reseal the window um, because we had a problem with it leaking and it's covered under lifetime warranty. And um, so that's being done right now. I'm just relaxing here at the moment and I uh, got a cup of coffee sitting next to me. I'm going to work on Bob's sweater today and edit the vlog. Those two things have to be done today. Um... Then we'll see what else I get up to. I do have an artsy trio video to film. So there's that. Sometime this week-ish. Sooner rather than later, probably. <laughs> anyway. Uh, yeah, I need more coffee, can you tell? All right, I'll be back. So I let the daughter know that the window people were here fixing um, what they needed to fix. Uh and got, done and gone already. And uh, she's still gonna keep doing your home because um, they have a baby play date with some of her friends and their kids. And uh, he has swimming lessons. He's already taking swimming lessons. He's doing very well. Um, but she might need help tomorrow. So that works for me. I told her, just let me know because if not, I will like run errands and stuff tomorrow. Um, I am going to, since I've confirmed that I'm not having him today, I'm going to go ahead and film Artie Trio today and try to get that edited and the vlog edited. And that way that's one and done. And then the only other thing I have to work on for the rest of the week is Bob's sweater and getting his sweater done. So that sounds like a plan to me. All right, I'm gonna put a few things back because we had to move stuff out of the way for the window guy because that transom window was leaking. That's what they were fixing. It wasn't sealed properly at the factory, so they sent a um, workman out to reseal it. And so hopefully that's fixed, no more problem. It does have a lifetime warranty, so if it's not, well, yeah. Anyway, all right, that's it for the minute. I'll be back. The table by myself, so I gotta wait for Mr. Bob to be done with his meetings and be able to take a break, so anyway. And meanwhile, I guess it's been a while since I initially, init, uh, initialized, erased properly my SD card for my video camera, so that's doing. I also got tired of moving my tripod out of the painting corner and realized I got two more tripods in the closet that I picked up at the Goodwill. So now we have a table tripod and a painting tripod. This one cost me like 12 bucks. So if you're all wanting to film a video, you need a tripod for something, maybe you're just doing plain air and you wanna set up an outdoor painting stand. There's a million videos on that on YouTube. Um, thrift for a, a tripod, don't go buy one new. 
Anyway, all right, that's it for the minute. I'll be SD back. SD cards wear out. Who knew? Good thing I have another one. Great way to start the day. Okay, it's about 3.30ish. I got the Artsy Trio video filmed. It is now edited and saved, and I got the vlog edited. It's saving, and I'll get everything scheduled um, before I turn the computer off today. And I'm going to make myself uh, a spider web thing for Halloween, a crocheted spider web thing. And I have this old Barocco knitting scarf kit. I've had this so long. These And these are the instructions for knitting because I do know how to knit. It's not my favorite. I think I'm going to split the yarn. I'm never going to make the scarf. So I'm going to split the yarn up. And I don't know if I have enough, but I'm going to take some black acrylic I have. And I have this was in the kit. And I'm gonna put those together and make a sort of a sparkly spider web thing to wear. And then this is also yarn in the kit. This is Barocco Optic. There's enough for a scarf here, which I could make a scarf out of it, but I think I might do something else with it. What exactly? I don't know yet, but it's interesting yarn. Um, so, but that's not a today project. Um, right now I am going to let the computer do its thing and I'm going to continue work on Bob's sweater. I started the other sleeve, so that's a priority. So anyway, I'm just going to snuggle up in my corner, in my chair, under my blanket, and crochet. Because why not? All right, I'll be back. Hey you guys, it is Wednesday morning, October 25th, pretty sure. Anyway, um... Unexpected babysitting this morning because the daughter had a client she had to help with a um, property inspection and my daughter's in real estate. For those that don't know, I'll link her website down below. If you're in the state of Oregon and you need reality help, she can do that. If she's too far away from you, uh, for her and you to help you, she can recommend somebody. So anyway. Uh, she did that this morning. Polyus was working, and so she's like, Mom, can you babysit? I said, sure, because, you know, um, as you all know, um, if you follow me on other social media, I got Bob's sweater done last night. I'll put a couple of pictures up here. Turned out really cute. The fits really well. I took a little longer with it than I would have for a sweater for myself because I really haven't made one for him in a really long time, and I wanted to make sure the fit was right. So... Anyway, it is all of 47 degrees outside and rainy. Yay, I love that because I get to wear sleeves. Um, we're going to go run out and run our errands that we usually do Wednesday morning, but we're going to do them now. I'm going to run to the P.O. Box, check it. It's been a couple of weeks. I'm going to go to Value Village because it's literally right there. I need some more thrifted or scrap yarns for the scrap blanket. I need variegated yarns. So I'm going to, and we're making this blanket out of scraps, thrifted bits, uh, bits I'm gifted, and inexpensive yarns. If I have to buy anything, it's inexpensive yarns. So um, we're going to go to Value Village and see what they have, if they have anything. And then I probably will stop at Walmart. I'm kind of checking out all the Walmarts near me to see who has sort of the better stocked yarn selection, although I think they're all pretty much the same. It just depends if you hit it when they've stocked the shelves well or not. So yeah, anyway, we're going to go check it out this morning. We have two Walmarts near us, but I'm going to go to the one near to the P.O. Box today. Bob is going out of town for work next week. I don't have a problem with telling you all that because by the time you all see this, he's going to be back. But um, while he's gone, I might drive over to the other one. So, we'll see. All right. And then I'm going to come back and I'm going to work on my scrap out again. So, anyway. <sighs> All right. That's it for the minute. I'll be back. Okay. Headed over to the last stop, which is picking up a prescription. Um, my Walmart was pretty well stocked for yarn today. Um, although the yarn department is constantly a mess and I guess I looked like I worked there, which, okay, because somebody kept asking me questions. I said, I'm sorry, I don't work here. 
I did try to help her anyway. That's probably why she thought I worked there. <laughs> so anyway, um, I'm planning another afghan. So they did actually this time have the colors I wanted. So I did buy them because it's cheaper to get it at Walmart than anywhere else. And now I have them. I can just set it aside with the other crochet projects I have planned. <coughs> um, blankets are good for me to work on when we're um, on a road trip or, you know, I'm dealing with ang anxiety or, you know, I just need to keep myself busy. Um, and I can follow a pattern and I do have a pattern or I can just um, do a giant granny square because that's really easy, which is what I'm doing now. And anyway, um, then I stopped at Joann's. They had, a, I did find two balls to add to the thrifted and, and gifted and scrap bits afghan I'm currently working on. One was on clearance, one was on sale. They're ver both variegated because um, I'm alternating variegated and solids. And I ran out of variegated yarn, so there's that. Um, and I bought a couple of magazines I didn't really need to buy, but you know. <laughs> uh, I have four of them now. I need to sit and look through them all. Anyway, um, kind of looking for a good crochet magazine. So if you all have a particular one that you like, if you crochet, let me know, because there used to be a lot more of them out there than there is, but you know, I think crocheting's not as popular as it used to be. I don't know. Anyway, we're gonna go pick up the prescription. Then I gotta go home and have lunch. It's one o'clock and I'm starving. So yeah, I'll be back. Hey guys, Junior's here today. I'm babysitting. Hopefully you can't hear that music in the background. I'll try to drown it out if I can. And uh, anyway, I am boiling some carrots for him because we're gonna make some baby food. And I have some leftover applesauce, which I already made. And he, by the way, he loves apples. Um, I was up here for a bit before he came. I know, dark, hello. Um, and I decided to add a spider web to the back of my Halloween shirt. So spider web on the back, spider web on the front, spider necklace. Yeah, I even have some plastic flies. I'm thinking about gluing some flies on there. I know it's really, but you know, yeah, flies, I have flies, flies. So anyway, but we'll do that later. I don't, can't do it right now because Junior's here. So anyway, all right, I'll be back. Bob is still at his Masonic Lodge meeting, um, but while he's been gone, I made great progress on the scrap yarn afghan. We went through four balls of yarn that were in my bag for said afghan. So yay. Um, the balls that are left are all fairly large. Um, I'm anticipating when the afghan's done, it's gonna fit it at the very least a double bed, but probably a queen. Yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be big. Um, and then, then on to the next. I do have a sweater for myself. I want to make actually at least two. But yeah, we won't talk about that. Anyway, I'm going to play some puzzling games now. Give my hands a little break. And uh, wait for Mr. to get home. That's really all there is to do now. So I'll be back. Good morning, everybody. It is 10.02 a.m. Friday, October 26th, I think, or 27th. I don't know. It's Friday, though. It's family dinner night, so I'm going to go run out and get stuff for said dinner. 
not going to do the full grocery shopping because um, I don't want to. And during COVID, Bob and I got used to grocery shopping together. And I kind of dislike going by myself now, <laughs> to be honest. There's always stuff that he wants that he doesn't write down. And he for or he forgets to write down. And I don't know to get because I don't have ESP anyway. And same for me. There's always something one of us wants. The other one has no idea. So it's easier to just go together. But we're having family dinner night. I made a list. I need to get some stuff for Junior. And um, we're having pizza. So nine times out of 10, family dinner night is pizza. Um, it's been that way for the entire, almost 40 years I've known Mr. B. Um, he loves pizza. Sometimes we make homemade pizza, sometimes we buy pizza. We don't rarely, we rarely anymore do frozen pizza, that, although that is a thing occasionally. Um, today we're gonna do Papa Murphy's pizza, which is a take and bake style pizza. So kind of half and half, sort of. Police is following somebody. Looks like they might be getting a ticket. Anyway, um, so I'm gonna go pick up the pizza. I'm gonna get a few groceries, gonna get some stuff for Junior. And I need to go on the Buy Nothing group today and see if anybody has a spare stroller because Junior is big. He doesn't fit in his old stroller anymore. And it would be easier for everybody if we just had a spare stroller at our house, so. Um, we don't need a car seat yet because I am not comfortable taking that baby anywhere in the car. So there's that. But anyway, and we're babysitting tomorrow because mommy's got to work and daddy's working on their addition on their house. So oh, uh, Pops and I um, are babysitting. So there's that. Anyway, let's go get our errands done. <sighs> and see what we can see. All right, I'll be back. Okay, it's Saturday afternoon, it's just before five o'clock. I haven't vlogged before now because we've been babysitting all day. Um, both kids had to work and somebody had to watch the baby, so um, that was us. So we are going to uh, go grocery shopping at some point tonight. I don't know if we're doing it right this second or... I don't sure, let's do it right now. I guess we're doing it now. Oh. So, and I have to work on, or want to work on my blanket some more. We're gonna clean up the house a little bit and then head over to the grocery store. I'll be back. Okay, Bob is downstairs watching TV and I am already in my pajamas because Junior is already six months old and well, he's, and he's switching from formula to food baby food and well he spits up a lot so there's that and Omar got nailed a couple of times I am checking a couple of project bags where I'm kind of saving up yarn for more afghans yes this is going to be one of them I have and or was gifted or thrifted do they even make these yarns anymore this one is Joanne's Sensations Confetti. Um, and then there's also a ball of Lion Brand Fancy Fur. Um, anyway, I'm gonna pair them up with something plainer and at some point that's gonna be another blanket. Um, in fact, I have some yarn coming for that that I ordered last night. That'll be the main solid calm color there is some black in that ball in that bag but we'll see um and then i have this which is just chunky yarn hold on let's go over here this is the one i need to look at because oh, of course my glasses came off because why wouldn't they um will you stay there maybe <laughs> Hold on. How about there? That's a little better. 
So I have a bunch of this chunky yarn from just different places, um, thrifted, gifted. I, didn't, I don't think I bought any of this. Um, and I think I'm gonna make it into a blanket like the one I'm working on now. I'll put a picture here. Um, so I have random balls, um, different kinds of stripey, variegated, tweedy. They're all chunky. So what I do is I do multicolor solid, multicolor solid. So I wanted to make sure um, I have enough solids at least to get started. So like these two could go. I have a teal one that I'm gonna order. Oh, that's funny. These two look like they're the same yarn. Gifted, thrifted. So interesting. I need a purple. I probably need more blue. And gray or pink. Okay, I have a, I, there's yellow, okay. I have a clue now. I also have this red, I don't, I don't know. We'll use the red somewhere. Maybe we'll use the red with um, rainbow. So that'll work. All right, so anyway, that's gonna be another blanket. So, another good sale with some coupons on the Mary Maxine website. So I think I'm gonna, order just a few balls. So now that I'm sure what colors I need. Anyway, our day was mainly spent um, taking care of Thomas and paying attention to him and not really doing anything else, which is as it should be. And um, then after he left, we went grocery shopping real quick and I came home and put my pajamas on and yeah, anyway, he nailed my shirt. I didn't even notice. So I walked around the grocery store with baby spit up all over me. Yay me. <laughs> anyway, tomorrow is going to be a quiet day at home. So I'm going to work on my blanket and hopefully get some walking in. We do have another storm coming in, but I want to try to get some walking in before that. Um, Bob has um, something he's doing with the kids and um, they're going to go out and do that. And they're going to do it like first thing in the morning. And I am not about that. I'm going to be here with my coffee and my crochet. Yeah. Anyway, that's it for the minute. I have lots of project bags filled with yarn, ready to go, and paintings I'm gonna work on. I'm, I'm getting commissioned for some, um, uh, journaly travel sketchbook things from trips people have already gone on. And I actually wanna do one for myself for our Virginia trip, and I figured out where that safe play place was in the art room where I put all my Virginia bits and pieces and found it and put it over here on the table. So if you're interested in fiber content, sewing, I've got a sewing project right here. I've got a few of those lined up. Um, I just finished making myself a Halloween hair band, hair barrette. Um, and, um, you know, just wherever my creative muse takes me, it could be anywhere. If you're interested in content like that, then I sure would appreciate like, share, and subscribe. Maybe hit that bell notification icon for new videos because I seem to be vlogging every Wednesday, but the other videos just come at random, so you never know. Anyway, uh, questions, comments, or concerns are down below. Relevant links are in the video description. And I do have a private Facebook group um, for patrons and supporters, a, a Facebook messenger group. Um, so if you would love to be a patron and be into that chat and have ready access to me, I also post things on a monthly basis in Patreon for them. Um, then that link is also down below. I also have a Facebook um, art and inspiration group. So if you'd like to be a part of that, the link's down there. All right, that's it for now. Don't forget to go out. Have a great day. Have a great week. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. I'm going to go order some more yarn. I'll be back.